Agrippa. I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No. I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes? Soon, I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? Alexander? Oh my, so Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> by another, but Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Really? Well, if he tells the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken arm and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak madness, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the choir and the transept. You should be able to find them there. Concerning a man named Johann Heim, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help me. A recipe for some sort of potion, a tonic, to free me from this husk of mine. Thank you. 
Ireland. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. A taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in a dim hang. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. These cuts speak volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Oh, they will be back. said he found a way to take me with him beyond the stars. But I was too afraid to come along. Seriously. And now, all I can do is regret it. I've always hoped Fire would return and give me a second chance. But so does Alexander. That's why he keeps me here as a hostage, hoping Fire will reveal himself. of August 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. 
I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument.